okay before i get started you know uh, both the linked list and arrays are a linear data structure okay and uh, we have already seen the arrays helps a lot uh, there are so many things that we can do in the case of the arrays uh, can you guys tell me what is one of the biggest limitation because of which people were forced to look for some additional data structure like linked list and the others can you tell me what was the one of the biggest limitation of the array was uh, sir memory because uh, we have to just set the memory first okay uh, the shifting of the any new element need to be okay uh, shifting right. adding element or shifting element what are you saying adding a uh, anything else uh, i do agree like these are the points and these are very important crucial points but one of the biggest point uh, uh, you guys are still missing can you think of what is that biggest point i think we discussed about that when we were talking about the array in like few sessions back yeah uh, vishwa i feel that uh... in uh, array we need continuous uh, uh, memory available so suppose i have to store 10 values and i need a continuous uh, allocation uh, memory availability for that so that is what and uh, on the top of this like uh, linked list how linked list will be non contiguous so anywhere if memory is there uh, by using the address we can connect and uh, we can store the data perfect very nice exactly so basically what happens is that suppose this is a memory space okay and then this one is representing that it has been occupied and zero is representing that it is free so 0 0 1 1 uh, then 1 2 3 okay then 1 2 3 something like suppose this is your memory space right and um, each zero indicates one gb of the free space and one indicate that it has been occupied so if you can see here 1 2 3 Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That ten GB of memory space is still available right now, right? Uh, but suppose uh, I have to create an array of size say five GB. Now this uh, memory space already have like ten GB of space available, but the five GB space is not available contiguously anywhere. The maximum that I have is like three GB here, two GB here, then two GB again, and then two GB again, right? so nowhere uh, in this whole memory space we have like 5 gb of contiguous memory right and because of which since array requires a contiguous memory block to be stored if our memory is our you know memory space is fragmented right uh, array cannot be used there so array can can't be used in the space right so if our memory overall memory is fragmented it's very tough to use array in that case so we cannot use it so this is one of the biggest limitation right uh, for example say if you are working on the java text stack right or if you are working on the c++ right any language as such right you keep on creating the objects right in java is still uh, the you know the default uh, the garbage collector of java takes care of you know clearing up the space but in the language like c++ it is the developer who have to you know create the object and then delete the object as well right so because of the creation and the deletion of the object that happens you know asynchronously right at a different uh, you know instances of the time uh, the whole memory space in which your program is running normally becomes fragmented it gets fragmented and because of which if the, the array that you have to create is large enough and you don't have enough space at one particular location you cannot go and use the array data structure so even though your overall total storage is high you still have you know a storage of like 10 gb of data but still you cannot store 5 gb of array is in it so this is one of the biggest limitations of using array and that is when how the linked list came into the picture okay 